When the sun flares up, its energy interacts vigorously with the magnetosphere, the ionosphere, and the atmosphere in very noticeable ways. That right there is a solar flare, and this is a coronal mass ejection. Both occur because of instability in the sun's magnetic field, and all of that fuzz is energy released as a result. Put Earth in the way, and that could cause some problems. It can interrupt our GPS communication, our radio communication, and also in today's technology-driven society, millions of, of devices can be affected. While there's currently methods of predicting when these events will occur, USU researchers are working on using AI to help make the process more efficient. What we are trying to do is to leverage all of these technologies to have predictions that are timely and allow us enough time to take preventive measures and predictions in which we have high confidence. So what they're doing here is threefold. They're first helping develop a method to clean and process initial data, then create the predictive machine learning model itself, and then help describe why it's predicting what it's predicting. Explanation behind the decision making is very important too, like build trust between the decision makers and the solar flare prediction. Currently, they're attempting to study the past 12 hours of the sun's activity to then predict if in the next 24 hours there may be a large flare which gives us an important early warning window, especially as we look toward future space missions. So we are going to have a more huge presence on space. So being able to predict these phenomena are going to be more and more important for us. The research team is still working on getting the model working, but the hope is that when it does come online, predictions could come fast. Because our end goal eventually is whenever data is coming in a near real time or sometimes real time, those data sets are processed and hopefully would give us prediction within a few minutes. And of course, uh, th these are very important for different stakeholders. So at the end of the day, these predictions will help us plan for these solar disturbances and mitigate the effects felt, not only here on Earth, but wherever humanity is in space. Peace.